want to give props to these reporters that actually asked Justin the same question over and over again until he actually answered the question. He was asked it three times, gave three different responses to the same question. Like, seriously? And you could, you could see that Justin was like, not really happy with these questions. He didn't like it at all. He was kind of like a little bit humiliated uh, getting this heat from reporters that usually don't give him that much uh, attention in the negative way that they should. If you want to watch it quicker, just accelerate the video to 125. Uh, I believe um, some people don't like to listen to Justin Trudeau talk unless he looks like an idiot. Well, I can guarantee you he, he kind of looks like an idiot in here. Oh yeah, before I forget, he has this new uh, phrase now. It's not focused on getting results for Canadians, delivering results for Canadians. Now let's watch Justin Trudeau talking with the journalists, taking the heat. Why are you refusing to meet with the National Caucus? Your MPs are calling for an urgent in-person meeting of all MPs. Why are you refusing? And do we interpret from that that you don't care what they have to say? Listen, let's let's be very clear. Last week's uh, by-election loss, uh, not to sugarcoat it, was, was challenging. Uh, it was uh, something we need to take seriously. And we've been engaged in uh, lots of important conversations. I've had uh, lots of calls with uh, different members of caucus uh, from across the country, not just in the GTA, uh, to talk about uh, how we make sure we're continuing our work connecting with Canadians to make sure we're continuing to deliver for people. Uh, there are, as always, a range of perspectives and voices within the Liberal Party, and listening to all those voices and giving them all time to engage is really, really important. And that's uh, what we've been doing, what I'm going to continue to do while we stay focused on delivering for Canadians. Whether you're a liberal or conservative in Canada, voters tend to give prime ministers or have always given prime ministers in the last hundred plus years the door after nine or ten years. Why do you think you're different? Uh, listen, there is uh, a challenge uh, faced by democracies all around the world right now. Whether we look at what's going on in France, whether we look at the uh, election in the United States, whether we look at any democracy around the world where we are seeing increasing challenges to people's uh, well-being, greater anxieties, uh, an erosion of democratic principles and rights, this is a really important time uh, for uh, governments uh, to step up and deliver concretely for citizens to restore and encourage uh, faith in the institutions that are there to deliver things like more childcare spaces, to deliver uh, better access to dental care for people who don't have insurance, to deliver uh, more housing with the most ambitious housing plan this country has ever seen. These are the things that we need to stay focused on and that's exactly uh, what I'm working hard on right now. I love it, CBC. Uh, with all due respect, my two colleagues have asked the same question and they have not received a specific answer. The question is, will you hold a national in-person caucus uh, with your party, with the MPs? As I've said, I will continue to engage and to talk and to listen and to meet with all my MPs from across the country to talk about how uh, we can both understand uh, what we need to improve on, given last week's by-election defeat, but also how we continue to be there for Canadians in a really important moment. Uh, people are anxious in Canada and around the world, and a government needs to be stepping up to deliver for people, whether it's delivering more housing and support on rents, whether it's delivering more spaces in childcare, whether it's de delivering uh, dental care services. These these are all things uh, that the Conservative Party has said uh, they will cut or eliminate. These are the things that actually matter for Canadians. These are the things that we are focused on as a team. Follow up. Um, are there, there are members of your caucus that are considering leaving if you do stay on. What's your reaction to that and are, are you willing to stay on and lose members of your caucus? I think the conversations that I'm having with uh, MPs directly right across the country and the conversations that we're all having as Liberals uh, are going to continue and we're going to stay focused on Canadians. I can't speak to, uh, to uh, what people in the media are thinking, that's your job, but I can speak to the uh, strength and focus that all Liberals have on delivering for Canadians and that's what we're going to continue. All the Presidents and Prime Ministers from the G7, Sunak stepped, had to step down, his numbers were sold. 
awful that he just stepped down. He knew he was going to lose. Macron is getting an ass whooping from one of the most centralist, extremist like parties in over there. Apparently, you see Justin here. He's trying to compare Canada to other countries in the world. You know, it's happening there too. It's happening there too. You're gonna lose the next election. It's guaranteed. If you stay on, you're gonna lose. If you don't, you have a chance. So you can stay, Justin. Just stay. And um, then he was, at one point, he's focused on delivering results for Canadians, focused on getting results for Canadians, and then he's focused on delivering. And then, <laughs> like, you could see, like, that he's trying to gas, like, you with some smooth, nice talk. And, like, he was getting annoyed at the end. He was like, oh my God. You could see he was getting really annoyed. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Till next time.